Hello everybody, Keo here. I'm going to talk about the red revamp changes for Bucks. So we got the Cannoneer skill from, uh, well, from Cannoneers of course, that expands uh, inventory slots. As you can see here, it is very useful. Going on to the new changes, these stayed the same, but we do have Octopush now, which is a flash jump skill. Very, very useful. Very, very useful. Especially on bossing. Um, second job, we have Tornado Uppercut, which pretty much stayed the same, unless you're talking about when it's fully charged. I'll explain that later on. Corkscrew Bloom. I hate this attack now. It doesn't rush anything, it just... It just does damage, yeah. which is probably good for second job training, but otherwise I don't see how it would be useful afterwards. Yeah. Everything else is the same for second job. Yes. Third job though. Spiral Assault, actually, you can use it now without a monster in front of you, and you still move forward. Um, yes. It's also, you know, pretty spammable. As you can see, I'm just holding down the button now. It's pretty good. Uh, energy Burst, yes. pretty much stays the same. Static Thumper, used to be called Land Lover Blast, now it sounds like a jet skill, because yes. it is. Um, it's also very, very terrible. Um, everything else is pretty much the same. Yes. Fourth job. Octo Punch. Um, looks the same, unless you're fully charged. Like I said, I'll explain all that later. Uh, the beam got shorter. Also because I'm not charged up. I'll... Whatever, you get the idea. Yes. And that's it for that. Now we move on to Hyper Skill. Stimulating Conversation now gives you full energy and also gives you 800 energy every few seconds. Very good. Power Unity. Instead of using up all of your energy and giving you 50, 50k damage over the cap, it now gives you 10% minimum and max critical damage. And that can stack three times. Also, instead of using all of your energy, it uses just a little bit. So that's very good. Then we have Double Down, Saving Grace, which I think is probably the best dice skill. Um, it says when it doesn't activate, you have a 40% chance for the cooldown to not apply, and then your next one is whatever. That doesn't seem to be true right now. All it seems to do is always give me double dice, or double down. I've never gotten a single dice so far since having it. Uh, double down addition gives you 7 on double down, which means 7 gives you a PDR, which I think is 10% or 15% PDR, which is a physical defense reduction, whatever. Uh, double Down Enhance, which increases your chances of getting a 4, 5, or 6 on your Double Down. Sadly, the increase is only 5%, so I don't think it's very, uh, it's worth it. I don't think it's worth it. Now, allow me to explain the energy system. So, as you can see on the right side over here, um, every time you do an attack, you gain a certain amount of energy. Kind of like the old times. Except now you yes. actually get to keep track of how much you use once it's uh, fully charged. Yes. So I'm gonna get fully charged and then I'll show you. Just uh, as a recap though, I'm gonna do most of the skills. So here's Tornado Uppercut. Goes about that far. Um, energy Burst. Goes about that far. This doesn't change at all really. Octo Punch looks like this. And the beam goes about that far. I'm gonna go under the ladder because in the previous video, the pre-revamp video, I did a distance test and it went up to right here. So I'm gonna get full energy and then I'll be back. Okay, so now that we have full energy, you can see that this turned blue now and it's called Energy Vortex. And it goes much, well, maybe not much farther, but it does go farther and it does more damage now that our energy is charged. And then Energy uh Hedgehog Buster now gets three little orbs instead of just two. Or, I think it has, yeah, it has longer range. Um, let's see what else changed. Octo Punch now has spikes on it, and like electricity or something. And now for what we've all been waiting for. Now the beam actually goes about this far. That is quite a distance. So now, about the energy system, as you saw, probably, uh, as I was doing attacks, my energy was going down. You can look at it now, it's going down with every attack I do. 
instead of using MP when you're in this stage where you have, you know, all this energy around you, you use that energy instead of using MP. So once again, you don't have to use any MP potions ever. There is a slight problem though. I noticed that um, Octopunch doesn't get a damage increase when your uh, energy is up. Because what it's supposed to do is it's supposed to give you 50 weapon attack and also it's supposed to have a 10% damage increase while you're fully charged. But look at my damage now. I'm doing maybe 600k, 610k. Like, you, you notice that I'm doing that much, right? Now watch, I'm gonna have no energy and we'll see the difference. Alright, now we're back with no energy. Look at the damage. Looks pretty much the same, doesn't it? I, I even did 620k. I even did more damage than I had before when I had energy. So I believe that Nexon um, messed something up with the energy in relation to Octo Punch because every other skill seems to be more powerful when you're fully charged. I'm just not sure why it's not working for Octo Punch. Um, is there anything that I did not explain? I don't remember. I explained the energy system. I think that's uh, everything. Um, if you need any more information, please let me know and I can maybe comment or make a whole new video. Um, I did have a lot of trouble recording this because the audio kept messing up. Hopefully it doesn't mess up this time. And uh, I'll see you next time that I re record something.